going on everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out a brand new tactical shooter called Boundary. Now, Boundary is an early access multiplayer tactical spaced shooter game engaging in fierce team versus team zero gravity firefights and executing low gravity operations on orbiting space installations against other enemy astro operators and other entities. Now, Boundary is currently $22.49 on sale. That sale is going to end on April 20th. Originally, that price will be $24.99. Now we're going to talk a little bit about whether or not I believe this game is worth your time, if it's worth the money, and we're going to jump straight into it talking about the action and the overall gameplay. Boundary sort of plays like you'd expect a space shooter to play like for the most part. The zero gravity firefights is something we don't really see in too many titles. I think the closest thing we've gotten, and I know there are probably other uh, tactical space games or space shooters in general that I just haven't really played recently or maybe forgotten, but Star Citizen is the first thing that comes to mind, and the first person and combat in Star Citizen is rather limited from what I do remember. I haven't played it in quite some time now, and no one really plays the Star Marine version of Star Citizen either. The last time I tried, I couldn't find a match, and again, that was a while ago. I do believe that Boundary is sort of the big alternative to, like, Star Marine or Star Citizen if you're looking for that type of combat uh, tactical shooter-esque feel. Now, saying this game is supposedly tactical, as they say, they do say it's a tactical shooter, I don't think that really does it justice. There are some scenes in the original announcement trailer that suggests it was aimed more towards a realistic feel with a cleaner HUD. However, in game, you can clearly notice a lot of cumbersome HUD elements, which immediately makes the game more arcadey in that sense. Not to say that an arcadey style space shooter is a bad thing, but I don't know if Boundary exactly fits the tactical shooter category. However, though, tactical is sort of a subjective word, I guess I would say. I'm sure many might disagree with that statement. I'll be honest and say that the game doesn't necessarily feel like a tactical shooter at all, and it'd be more close to saying that this is a battlefield or Call of Duty in space. Again, not necessarily a bad thing. The fact that we have a somewhat polished shooter based around zero gravity is incredibly unique compared to a lot of the shooters we've received recently, and I have to say I am enjoying my experience. The first game we went through went surprisingly well. I performed decently with a 1.7 KD ratio, 12 kills, and 7 deaths. It's decent, it's not that great, but it was my first game. CQB is definitely my most preferred combat style in most shooters. I felt that there were some moments where I was hindered with my overall knowledge and just skill in general with overall movement. This game certainly will take some time getting used to the zero gravity and kind of merging that with combat is quite the challenge as well, especially if you're new to zero gravity type stuff. Fortunately for me, I got used to it pretty quickly from my time in Star Citizen and other zero gravity type games I've played in the past. Now the AK type rifle felt like the best firearm of choice for a more CQC uh, type map. Essentially, it was my go-to firearm amongst the other choices, amongst the other classes. The second match that I got into was in a more open location. There was much more range and less CQB, and I tried out the DMR for the first time, and it did absolutely phenomenal. I was surprised at how excellent this firearm performed. I wouldn't be surprised if the DMR got a nerf over time based on how well it does. Trying out the other classes and firearms didn't go too well for me, to be honest. I don't know if it was just getting used to the firearm itself, or maybe it was a skill issue. I don't know. However, I wasn't enjoying the LMG or the shotgun. And with that, speaking of things I didn't really enjoy, I encountered quite a few bugs. It wasn't anything major, but I got things like stutters while in firefights, small performance hitches here and there. Uh, the login time was sort of an issue. We were sitting at the login screen for about five, maybe even 10 minutes. We had a menu bug where we died and we went to go change our class and we got stuck on the screen. It was an overlay. We were unable to do anything but force quit the game. I had to Alt F4 and restart, and you can imagine how this can be quite annoying. Pairing this with the login time issues, it was it was quite uh, distracting and annoying. To end things off, I want to talk a bit about my overall thoughts with Boundary. I'd expect this game to get somewhat frequent content updates uh, with new cosmetics, firearms, classes, uh, maps, and different game modes in the future. The replayability will probably be based around a competitive matchmaking system, if I could assume. I'm sure the developers have talked about or released information around what their plans are in the future, but I'd like to think I'm not too far off. In conclusion, with a price tag of $22 or $25, 
originally. I don't know if me myself would purchase a game like Boundary for that price, especially with the content that's currently included. However, for somebody that thoroughly enjoys FPS games, especially uh, science fiction type FPS games, if you're a competitive FPS player, I would assume that this is probably something that you would purchase and play quite frequently. However, somebody like me that uh, doesn't necessarily spend a lot of time playing PvP FPS type games lately, I would probably only play this game for about a week and then get bored rather quickly after that. Just with the replayability, I'm not really that type of competitive person anymore where I'm trying to go through and, you know, I don't really care about being the best anymore, I guess, if that makes sense. So after a while, I would definitely move on and, and try out other games. However, like I said, I'm sure there are quite a few of you out there that do enjoy playing those competitive games for a lengthy amount of time. And I do think $25 is definitely not a bad price tag for a game that's as polished as this. There are some details here and there that we didn't get far into, like the cosmetics. I didn't really show off too much of that. And I didn't really go into the attachments and how to upgrade things. And there are challenges and stuff like that. We didn't really talk about that too much. And I will say just kind of glimpsing over at it is that there is replayability with those features in mind. However, you are kind of just forced to play the game. And at a certain point, it's just going to be a grind fest trying to get those different attachments and cosmetics. However, I'm sure there are people who enjoy Enjoy that type of play style. Either way, I think that's going to be everything right there for Boundary. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think about Boundary. Do you think you paid $25 for this game or maybe would you rather it be free to play? I'd love to know your thoughts on this new space style shooter. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end and we will see you in the next video.